Hey, it's Morgan Florida Lee, the champion of freedom. Thanks for coming back for video number two. If you've missed video number one, head back to that because we're going to get into the nuts and bolts right now. And I want you to understand what we're talking about when we say learn how to learn. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Well, that dropped on the floor, no big deal. So, learning how to learn. Now, I have been using the internet since just out of high school in 1993. Um, and it's been a major source of both acquiring knowledge and entertainment for myself. You know, some people really like television. I always like the internet, right? I just, my, it just works for my mind, right? And what I've been noticing lately when training hundreds of people and working with teams is that my mind is making connections and associations using modern technology of the internet that a lot of people haven't been exposed to yet, and the moment this happens for them, these types of associations, everything changes. So that's what we're gonna go over today. We won't need any fancy computers or any you know, complicated how-tos, but this is principles that will radically change your business. So let's talk about how you discover stuff on the internet and then how you uh, expand upon that, all right? First off, you're gonna have some type of question that needs to be solved, right? This is obvious. So the question may be article marketing, right? What is article marketing? You, you heard it somewhere, you heard some guru talk about it, and you're like, how do I get into this article marketing? What is it? And you're waiting for someone to teach you, right? Well, the reality is, is that the answers are right in front of you, and we're going to show you how not only to get the answers like that, but to expand your knowledge so quickly in a subject that you can teach it to others within moments of learning it. And that's a very powerful concept as well. So you have questions, right? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to think of word and phrase word and phrase associations, all right? So you may have to pull a pen and a paper out initially or you know, if you can work it in your head, it's fantastic, right? So word and phrase association. So you heard the term article marketing, right? So you got to start thinking about different ways to express, say, article marketing, article advertising, uh, blog marketing. You know, start thinking of these different types of words, right? So I'll use like two different examples here. So. Article marketing and let's say you heard about a different form of marketing maybe forums right so you think well okay how do I learn more about these things well as you start using very powerful tools that are on the internet you can start to expand your word association let you Start off with a piece of paper and you can't seem to get more than article marketing or forums, no problem, right? This is part of the natural part of discovery, right? So let's go over it. You're going to use, like a lot of people currently, and this changes, and if, you, if we had this video 10 years ago, it would be a different question, right? I mean, a, a different, uh, different tools, but you're going to use Google, most likely. You might use Bing or Yahoo or something like that. That's fine. There's more than one search engine. And then there's another one that some people miss, YouTube. Google's the number one search engine on the planet. YouTube is the number two. So you can start using Google and YouTube to type in, say, your, your phrase, article marketing. Now, as you start typing, guys, and this is the meat and potatoes right here, as you start typing, don't just plug away, looking down, and then hit enter. Slow down, type in the word article, and then see the suggestions that both Google and YouTube will give you. And you might come across lots of other, um, lots of other options because Google gets these searches all the time and it's trying to help you. It's trying to make search faster for you, more user friendly. You can use that to your advantage to help you with your word and phrase association. So you might type in article, and then all of a sudden, instead of article marketing, it might come up with some other cool stuff that you didn't know about. And that's what I really like about this. 
And so all of a sudden, it might start suggesting software. Submission service, right? I'm just going to write submission. It could decide to say uh, directory or directories, right? And it'll start giving you different types of things. And as you type in certain parts of the words, both on Google and YouTube, you can start getting different types of answers. Now, the solutions you're going to get on Google are going to be a little different than the solutions on YouTube. YouTube is going to be a bunch of videos. And a lot of it can be how-to videos that might explain where to submit, what type of great software there might be out there, things of this nature, right? So it's very, very powerful to allow Google to help you. It's also an option to ask a question directly, word for word. What is article marketing, right? What is article submission? What is article directories? Where are? How, how many, the best, top. Start thinking of words that you can start associating with your question. So what is the best article marketing software? What is the best, where are, what are the top article marketing directories, article directories, article submission services, ratings, reviews, really start to think about all these different types of words that you can connect with the initial search. All right? Now I'm going to give you an extended example beyond that. Let's say you typed in article marketing and you get results. On that page, it's going to be lots of different options. Some will be paid, some will be uh, part of uh, people who manage to get to the first page of Google. And you could start to learn from those articles and those sites as well, right? That's definitely an option. But if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, on a lot of searches, guys, a lot of searches will be a set of listings towards the bottom. And it might be one, two, three, four, it might be five, six, seven, eight, it might be ten of them. And they're right towards the bottom before you try to get to the next page of the search results. That is stuff that you can use to help broaden your word and phrase associations. And you'll be amazed how many answers to questions that you have just using this one technique right here. Now stick with us on part three of this. We're going to get into you know, the, the expression forms and then getting beyond those particular details about how you can learn how to learn and really transform your business and how you can share this with other people and allow them to transform theirs. All right, so my name is Morgan Florida Lee, the champion of freedom. My goal is to break you free. Take care. Bye-bye.